couples with us today. You're ready to play. Yeah. All right, then ladies, I'm going to ask you to go off to our soundproof room. While you're gone, we'll ask some questions to the husband. So go if you would, please. And gentlemen, around one, I'll be asking you some five-point questions. You'll be answering these questions as you predict your wife will answer the same question when she returns. Now, if her answer matches your prediction, you get five points. And remember, each correct prediction brings you that much closer to your fabulous second honeymoon. So if you're ready, guys, you look nervous. Come on, fellas, smile. <laughs> Have some fun with me. Here's your first question. Gentlemen, if your wife came delivered to your front door like a gift, which of the following would she say you think the shippers forgot to pack? Her extra batteries, her instructions, or her remote control? She arrives at your front door, Joe, like a gift. I'll take the remote control. They forgot to, to pack her remote control. And I like to turn it on and off whenever I want to. <laughs> David. I'm going to have to say uh, without extra batteries. They, okay, the, they forgot to pack her extra batteries. Exactly, yeah. Uh, we have a lot of, uh, well, we have a small child. We have a lot of battery-operated toys, and uh, so sometimes she has to run out and get batteries. Oh, good. She took it literally, folks. <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> Um, I'd say extra batteries. They forgot to pack her, pack her extra batteries. Yeah, because she's going to need them because we're going to be busy all night long. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah the, the braggarts never perform. <laughs> Irving. Uh, the remote control. Oh, uh, the remote control. You have no control over this woman, do you? No. I knew it. <laughs> Next question, gentlemen. What part of your wife's body would she say she could use to scare off a wild dingo? <laughs> David, could she scare off a wild dingo with? Oh, um, it doesn't matter what I answer. I'm going to get in trouble for this. Sure. <laughs> um, she always says she has a big head, so I'm going to say her head. Her head? Would yeah. scare off a wild dingo? I wouldn't think so. I'm just saying yeah, like, yeah, I think yeah, she's yeah, going to yeah. say Don't yeah. bail out on me, Mike. <laughs> I say her breast. Her boobs. Yeah. Scare off a wild dingo. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> her ring. Her false teeth. Her false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Joe! I'm going to say her stomach. Her stomach can scare off a wild dingo. Next question, gentlemen. How will your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking. She says, Brad Pitt recently won the title of the sexiest man alive. Now, if my husband ever appeared on the cover of People, the caption would not read sexiest, but it would say, the blankest man alive. Oh, gosh. I hate to ask Mike this question. Yes, Mike. The blankest man alive, though. The obnoxious guy alive. The most obnoxious man alive. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hurry. <laughs> uh, biggest, strong biggest man alive. Yeah. All right, that'll work. Joe? Selfish. The most selfish man alive. <laughs> David? Uh, most unorganized man. Most unorganized oh, man alive. All right, gentlemen, thank you. We'll be right back to reunite these newlyweds. We'll see how well the husbands have predicted what their wives will say. Right after these messages. Join me, Bob Eubanks, for my picks from Card Sharks, Match Game Hollywood Squares, Family Feud, and The Newlywed Game. It's the best of Bob during Bobtober on Buzzer. It starts Monday at 8. Game. Now, gentlemen, we recorded your predictions on cards. You now have them in front of you. Remember, each time that your prediction matches your wife's answer, you get five points. The one couple with the most points at the end of the show wins an incredible second honeymoon. So, ladies, we're glad you're back. Here's your first question, ladies. If you came delivered to your front door like a gift, which of the following would your husband say he thought the shippers forgot to pack? Did they forget to pack your remote control, your extra batteries, or your instructions? Leo? 
What did they forget to pack? Our extra batteries. Your, <laughs> do you need extra batteries? I know you're going to say that because I kind of got to vibrate. You know. <laughs> he going to say something like that. You do that all by yourself? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Irving said that the shipper forgot to pack uh, your remote control. Why is that thing? What do you mean by remote? Uh, kept you on and off. <laughs> he, wants, he wants to control you. Can you believe that? That's all good, though. Click off the I just have to say my instructions because I'm very complicated. They, they forgot to pack your instructions. He said they forgot to pack your extra batteries, my dear. <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm always going. <laughs> All right, Christina? That would have to be extra batteries because extra batteries. when I'm done, I'm done. You're done. All I'm right. Done. He predicted you would say, forgot to pack the extra batteries. You got it right. Okay. <laughs> Kathy. Because he says that I'm always controlling him, so he probably wants to remote turn control. Me off. He said the yeah. shipper forgot to pack her remote control. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that, that's kind of what he said, by the way. He wants to control you. Is that okay with you? No. <laughs> I like to be the one in control. <laughs> that's why I need the remote control. Next question, ladies. What part of your body would you would you say you could use to scare off a wild dingo? What part of your body, Mickey? Could you use to scare off a wild dingo? Probably my mouth. Your mouth. Mike, Mike said, uh, no, <laughs> it's your boots. You scare off a wild dingo. I, I don't know what to say. You. On national TV, you'd say something like that? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Pardon me, Mickey? Why would you say that something like that on national TV? That's my best asset. Oh, it is, <laughs> but uh, just, I screwed up. <laughs> Why did you say that? That's your best asset. I just, well, to scare him away, because I don't want him. To touch her, I don't want. She bought. Are you jealous? Are you insecure? No. Yeah. No. Jealous. Yeah. Just jealous. Oh, that's okay, Christina. Part of your body, he said, could scare off a wild dingo. I would probably say my head. Your head. Because I have a lot of hair, and he always says I have a big head. All right. He, was, he predicted you would say you could scare off a wife. dingo. Watch that card. Don't let it with a, with your big head. That's what he said. Yes. Okay. All right, Kathy. Look. <laughs> well, your evil look would scare off a wild dingo. You know what he said? Huh. He said your stomach oh. would scare off a wild dingo. Oh. I can't believe you said that. <laughs> National television. You get a double kill. <laughs> National TV across the world. I'm probably really he ready. told the world your stomach would scare off a wild dingo. And he wants control. <laughs> He's never going to get it now. You're not kidding. Anything, I'm sure. <laughs> Vio. Vio's over here just making all kinds of comments about it. <laughs> he was talking about her stomach. Isn't I that know. Right? On national television. I know. Isn't that awful? Yeah. <laughs> what part of your body could scare off a wild dingo? My here? mouth. Your mouth. That's right. All right. He said it would be your false teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Him. You almost forgot to put him in when you came out here on the show. <laughs> Didn't you, huh? Yeah. We're standing backstage. She said, oh, I almost forgot to put my teeth in. Look at all the mouth. Look at all the mouth. Look at all those teeth. But See? they're real, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. It's a good one. It's yeah, I got you. Yeah, you got your groove back? Oh, man. Oh, goodness. That's all good, though. You know, I've got another question. You want to try another one? <laughs> no, no, no. All right, let me ask another one. Tell me, ladies, how would you complete this sentence? Brad Pitt recently won the title of the sexiest man alive. If my husband ever appeared on the cover of People, the caption would read, would not read sexiest, but it would say the blankest man alive. What do you think about that, Christina? Not sexiest, but he's the blankest man alive. I would probably say most disorganized. Most disorganized man, disorganized man alive. He's All right, never... he would say, card please, the most unorganized man alive. You got it, okay. <laughs> Kathy. I would have to say he's the biggest couch potato. The biggest couch the potato most, man alive. The most laziest person. The most laziest yeah. person alive. Laziest All right, he alive. said that he is the most selfish man alive. <sighs> 
That too sometimes. <laughs> well, he's a lot of fun. selfish on with the remote control, so. <laughs> Mio, Bobby B, not the sexiest, but. The most hard working man. The hardest working man alive. I have to give him that. Well, good. All right. Irving predicted you would say that he is the biggest man alive. <laughs> That's true. You are a big. Take off that shirt. What happened? <laughs> Glider bike naked on it and wonder why I don't want to ride it after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. You're telling me that, that he, he's on the exercise he glider bike in naked? It and gets on it butt naked. Don't take no shower or nothing. <laughs> Is that right? Get off or want me to get on. <laughs> does, does that turn you on? Man, please don't be running does. from that bike. <laughs> But he's the what? If he gets this wrong, I'm gonna really hurt him. He's the horniest man alive. All right. Oh. Oh, he said that he's not the sexiest, but he is the most obnoxious man alive. <laughs> Go ahead That's and hurt him. Too. All That's right. True. We'll be right back to see how well the wives can predict what their husband is. <laughs> and it's your turn to predict what they will say. Remember, these questions are now worth 10 points. These are the big ones, Vio, so listen mm -hmm. carefully. All right, ladies, will your husband say the neighbors are more likely to complain about the strange noises coming from your bathroom, your living room, or your bedroom? Christina? Unfortunately, I'd have to say bathroom at bathroom. this point. Bathroom. <laughs> yeah, of course, to no fault of my own. But... Of course not, of yes. Right. I have no desire to fucking Mickey. <laughs> My bedroom, um, a lot of noise comes from that. Great noises come from your bedroom, <laughs> all right? Theo, what do you think about this? Your neighbors now, do they complain anyway? Look how big he is, the bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. I Baby mean, Huey in the I'm bathroom. I'm serious. People have actually came through the alley because that's where the bathroom said. Yeah. And hollered up there, you know, hurry up, man, what are you doing? I'm oh, serious. Yeah. I'm serious. Sure. <laughs> Kathy. Definitely the bathroom. As soon as he wakes up in the morning, is the first place he goes. Bathroom. Yep. All right, next question, ladies. <laughs> ladies, what will your husband say was the last thing that made you gag? Mickey? Something he probably cooked. What was it? <laughs> Spaghetti. Spaghetti, all right. Vio? Um, the sewer line at Savon's bus, and we had to go in there and get him some The MGD. sewer line at Savon's? It burst, and I had to go walking past to get him some MGD. And I had to go, and all that stink, I had to go in there for him, and, and it just made me sick. Why did you let Baby Huey get his own MGD? Because he'd be too tilted to I get see. his own MGD. So it's the sewer line and save on, huh? <laughs> oh, they're going to love it. Kathy? Uh, the last time he passed gas. <laughs> that made me gay pretty big. <laughs> I would probably have to agree. Oh, please I would don't. have to say, I unfortunately, again, I will have to. <laughs> okay. Uh, 25 point bonus question, ladies. What will your husband say is his all time favorite national monument? His all time favorite national monument. Kathy? Uh, is baseball a monument? <laughs> I'll take it. Sure, sure. um, okay, the National Baseball League. Baseball. Okay. Christina? His all time favorite national monument. I don't want to know his least favorite, I want his favorite now. The Eiffel Tower. Eiffel Tower. Okay. Uh, Mickey? I would say Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. Theo? Brett, 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 the, what's the hit man? The, the, the wrestler guy. Who? Brett. Brett? Mm -hmm. Brett the wrestler. The wrestler, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ladies, thank you. We'll be back with the husbands who compare answers on the newlywed game right after these messages. <laughs> Anyway, 
game. All right, three of the two of our couples have scored points. Hey, you, Irving, you don't have any points yet. You go me. Well, <laughs> boy, let's see what you can do about that right now, mm. gentlemen. If you are ready, these are the ten point questions. We're going to see how well your wives uh, have predicted what you will say. Okay. First question: Are the neighbors more likely to complain about the strange noises coming from your bedroom, your bathroom, or your living room? Mike. I'd say um, my bedroom. Your bedroom. All right. She predicted you would say top card for me and hang on to those other cards. The bedroom. That's right. Okay. Okay, David, what do you think? Um, well, she, I'm going to say bathroom. She always uh, makes fun of me because uh, I spend a lot of time in there sometimes. It's the only place I can find solace or quiet uh, alone time in there. All right. She said that uh, the neighbors are complaining about noises coming from the bathroom. You got it. I'm going to say bathroom also. Bathroom. She predicted you would say, from the bathroom. Yeah. All right, Irving. Everybody scored points now but you. Here's your chance now. Will the neighbors uh, more likely to complain about noises from your bedroom, your bathroom, or your living room? Bedroom. Bedroom. Wrong. Oh. Oh, no. Bathroom, she said. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean by bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try another question because we had so much fun with that one. <laughs> Gentlemen, what, what would you say was the last thing that made your wife gag? David? Last thing that made my wife gag? Um, gosh, I don't know. Uh, probably, well, actually, we had dinner last night at Sizzler. So I would probably say dinner at Sizzler. <laughs> dinner at Sizzler, right? She said the last thing that made her gag was your gas. <laughs> From Sizzler, but... <laughs> Joe, I if I'm going to say my spitting. You're spitting? Spitting. Why do you spit? It just happens. <laughs> so if you don't spit, you drool, is that it? Just about. Okay. And then you get your little beard wet, and then what do you do? Wipe it. Oh. <laughs> she said the last thing that made her gag was your gas also. Oh. <laughs> you do it often. Irving, last thing that made your wife gag. Uh, there was this backed up sewer coming out of the underground. <laughs> Really? Where was this? I uh, was a store out in LA. Oh, I see. Right. She predicted you would say the last thing was the uh, sewer line at Save On. <laughs> yeah. All right, Mike, last thing made your wife gay. I'd have to say my gas, too. All right, she predicted you would say the last thing made her gay was your spaghetti. Why? Yeah. Well, you Before we get to our 25 point bonus question, we're going to see where our winning couple will be going on their second honeymoon. Kramer, tell us where. You're going to Jamaica! <laughs> Wyndham Rose Hall Golf and Beach Resort just outside of Montego Bay. Rose Hall offers championship golf, tennis, water sports, and a private white sand beach. Wyndham Rose Hall, the jewel of Jamaica, the perfect place for newlyweds. Back to you, Bob. Thank you, Craig, very much. All right, somebody's going to Jamaica, Mom. We're going to find out who it is. 25 point bonus question, and it goes like this Gentlemen, what is your all time favorite? National Monument. Your all-time favorite, not your least favorite, favorite National Monument. Couple number one, Irving and Theo with 10. 25, we give you 35. Irving, if you get this right, you're gonna zoom into first place. What would it be, sir? Your favorite National Monument. <laughs> I don't know. Give me an answer quick. Queen Mary. The Queen Mary, all right, that's a good answer. She said it's Brett the Wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> Two, Mike and Mickey with 10, 25, we give you 35. Take over the lead with the correct answer, Mike. Um, Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. She said it would be Niagara Falls. That's all right. Couple number four. Joe and Kathy with 15, 25, we give you 40. Get it right, and you're in first place here, Joe. I'd say Statue of Liberty. Statue of Liberty. She said your all time favorite national monument is baseball. Don't ask. <laughs> all right, couple number three, David and Christine with 25. 25 would give you 50. David, what's your answer? National monument here in the U.S.? A U.S. national monument? I don't know. Just my favorite national um, monument. I'll have to say, uh, how about uh, the White House? The White House, all right. She predicted you would say it would be the Eiffel Tower. But guess what? You guys have 25 points, so David and Christina, you're going to Jamaica. <laughs> Studio audience for a taping of the newlywed game, just call us 818 769 5538.